YouTube, welcome back. And in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Logitech G923 with the MNG drive. Before we get into this, I just want to say a massive thank you for all the love and support in the past videos. I'm enjoying doing these weekly uploads. I'm enjoying doing these how-tos. I'm going to keep going with top fives, best mods, Euro Truck, BMG Drive, and whatever games may come. So the first thing we do before we even open up BMG Drive is set up the Logitech software. And the reason for this is BMG Drive doesn't quite work well with force feedback used on your software. So the first thing we're going to have to do is click on the wheel here. Click on steering wheel and we need to make sure that this setting is like this so we can adjust this and we need to make sure that that's on zero so that we can freely turn the steering wheel like this without any force feedback interruption now like i say i don't know the reasoning behind this i know that beam ng drive software and their force feedback interrupts with everything and makes it a very strange experience but we'll get into that very shortly so once you have beam ng drive open like this you want to go find the option setting here once in there, you want to head down to controls, and this is where you set up your steering, your brakes, your pedals, whatever buttons you want to map to your steering wheel. So it's plain and simple. Let's see if we're going to set up the throttle here. We click the plus button on here, we then press the throttle, and there you have your throttle setting. Obviously, you want to invert this axis. I don't know why, <laughs> but when it comes to Logitech wheels, it seems to be the best to have them inverted. And obviously, like you see on the graph here, as I slowly press the pedal in, we reach 100% output. Once so I let the pedal off, we reach 0% output. Again, Logitech's a bit strange for this. So once you're happy with the settings and stuff like this, simply hit apply, and you want to do this for the rest of your settings, like your brake, hit your brake pedal. If you want to sort your steering out, hit that. Same again with all your shift down and shift ups and your first gears and whatever button you want to map it to. Click the plus button, put it into the button, and be all sorted. So I'll show you another example here for a set of like your gears, for example. So go down here, Hit the plus button, move your controller there, let it out, and then it's assigned to the button 12 there. Once you're happy with all your buttons and how everything's set up, it's time to get to the fun part, which is the force feedback in this game. Now, force feedback is a bit of a pig to set up in this. But we'll show you how to do it so you're confident doing it in the future. So obviously when you're in here, you want to go find force feedback. Hit the plus button here, and you want to move your controller so it finds that you've got your controller here. Now these settings are super important, so please take note of what we do here, and it'll be super easy for you to set up in the future. So as you can see here on the axis, when we turn the wheel right, it goes right, and when we turn left, it turns left. So we leave the inverted axis alone, we enable force feedback, we then click inverted here, so that we have inverted force feedback, so when you turn like that, it all works fine. In strength, we can keep it around 200. Um, this, you can set up to your personal preference 150 100 is usually okay for logitech steering wheels but we'll keep it about 160 just to be on the safe side leave smoothing we don't need to mess with that and then we leave this ticked here so that when you're parked your steering wheel feels really light because if not and you turn your wheel it'll start going up and down like this it's very strange once you're happy hit apply and we're getting some gameplay and test this out so let's test some of these settings now I've known of you new players that come to this that have set up the wheels wanting to drive straight into manual and they get a little bit confused as to why some of the buttons aren't working correctly. So as you see, when I move the gearbox left and down, it goes into D, which is drive. And that's because this vehicle, when you first start up, is an automatic car. Now, whatever you set your keybinds to in terms of automatics will correspond to what you select on your gear stick. So for example, for me, if I go left and up, I have it in park, which obviously is automatically parked. If I go left and down, it's drive. And then there's other settings like twos and ones, different drive ranges in automatic gearboxes. Right hand and down takes you to reverse as you would do. If you're not happy with having this as an automatic vehicle, you can change it and the vehicle configuration. But for this particular time, we're going to test this out, make sure the force feedback we're happy with We'll also find a manual vehicle as well, and we'll test that too. So simply, for this one, we go into D, accelerate, and we see that accelerator works fine, this brake works fine, and then also the steering wheel as well. It was really nice with the force for your back at about 160. You can feel the wheel fighting your back as it should do, as it should do in force feedback. Another little bit of troubleshooting advice for this, if you're pressing your brake pedal and your vehicle is going into reverse, hit Q. 
So for me, I had that in realistic gearbox behavior. There's also something called arcade gearbox behavior. So when you press the brake pedal, you're going to reverse like you would in like Grand Theft Auto games and stuff like that. And then you hit throttle and it goes into, into drive. To change this, just simply hit Q on your keyboard. It should be as default. Then when you hit brake, you just brake because you're in a normal car. So now we're going to test our much louder manual vehicle that we have in this game. So first things first, we're going to test first gear, which obviously it selects. Second, third, fourth. We're happy with these settings. The clutch also works as well, which I have in. Brake pedals, throttle pedal, and steering as well. So obviously we're going to go into first and drive away. And we're going to try to do some six skids. Which we... um. Can't do very well, but the steering wheel now works. We're happy. Again, if you want to change all your force feedback settings, feel free to do so. And make sure that you keep the settings as they were in the beginning because they can reset when you go to change them again. Set your force feedback level to how you feel most comfortable, whether you feel like it's too much or too little. And that's it. And that's all it takes to set up a Logitech G923 wheel. So that's it. That's how you set up the wheel. I hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe if you're new, if there's more content you want to see in terms of mods, top best fives, all that's good stuff, let me know in the comments, I appreciate you all, we'll see you all next week.